Hello. I thought it was maybe time to do another little vloggy vlog um, to update what's been going on. Um, hooray for me. <laughs> I wish I could sound more excited about things, but um, my lump was not cancerous. It was a tumor. Um, there are several more brewing that are abnormally shaped, and anytime they're abnormally shaped, you have to have them removed. So they are going to continue to hack away at my breasts, but I do not have cancer, so that is a positive. Um, now, the negative thing that sort of occurred from that surgery, I'm healing nicely. Um, I'm not having a ton of pain or anything like that. But um, one of the lumps was so close to the surface of my breast, it went all the way from a rib bone to the surface of my skin. They, they could gauge on the ultrasound originally how wide it was, but they couldn't, they were not prepared for its depth. I had a really deep lump, man. Um, and so it set my fibromyalgia on fire, like to the point where I've been having nearly um, autistic attacks this week. Um, and I mean, it's been fibro, like classic fibro symptoms of pain and stuff, plus tactile defense where I can't even touch my own skin. I can't touch things to get my clothes on. Um, I, and like to even like touch my own fingertips. It's not as bad right now, but I have to like use a lot of oil or bio oil because I can't stand skin to skin contact. <laughs> Um, so it just set my fibro in a tailspin, but you know, no cancer. And, um, I'm working my way through the tactile defenses, you know, using like some of the autism protocol with skin brushing and, um, again, taking a lot of showers because I find those non-offensive and, um, using a lot of lotion and things like that. I'm drinking Diet Coke, which is really sort of illegal for us fibro kids because of the aspartame, but I really wanted a Diet Coke tonight. I do drink Diet RC still, but it doesn't contain aspartame. It's the only diet soda on the market that still has caffeine that does not have aspartame. So um, I usually drink Diet RC. I'm playing with my hair. Um, again, in this light, it just looks so weird. It is so vibrant, and the inconsistencies are much brighter. Um, so I don't, I don't really, I don't like it in this room, but I just love it in all other lights. So, um, anywho, I thought I had a hair stick here. Um, that's sort of what's been going on with me. I got the good news towards the end of last weekend, and, um, that was wonderful. I just was in such a, like, a fibro, fibro, myalgia slash autistic turn that I just didn't want to, I still, I just felt so sick and disgusting. Um, so I just didn't really celebrate. Um, I'm still thinking about starting a channel here where it could be like a support group and we can choose a topic a week and like all of the limeys that I communicate with and, and it doesn't just have to be limeys, but I would like it to be people facing chronic illnesses like POTS and um, MS and fibromyalgia and stuff like that. So it's not like we're going to keep it a strictly limey channel, um, but a chronic illness channel where we choose a topic a week and I'll probably, anybody who's interested, if you'd send me an email, then um, I'll set up a page and like the first five people that are interested, you know, I'll share the code with them so that they can post their responses and then everyone else can post video responses um, or written responses. And then if we get an overwhelming interest, which I don't, I don't really know. I don't have that many people that watch this um, but if we do, then we can rotate, we can change the password and rotate out people. And, um, I just think it'll help us focus if we chose a topic a week and everybody can take turns choosing a topic. Um, and some of them can be silly to keep it light and some of them can be serious. And anyway, 
uh, this is something I'm going to do. So please, if you're interested in participating as some of the original, the first crew of people on the Chronically Ill support group page, um, send me an email. And so the first five people that contact me will be the first five people included um, that'll get the passcode and we can um, then rotate out like monthly. That seems like a reasonable amount of time. Um, and people can always respond via video too that, that aren't on the page necessarily um, so that the discussion can be way more widespread. So that's what's going on with me. Um, still waiting to hear from disability. It hasn't been a no, um, but it hasn't been a yes. And um, like I said, my fibro has been bad and um, I don't know if it, I, I know that my fibro was set on fire by the nerve damage done for my surgeries, but um, I don't know if the tactile problems have been a uh, major herx or what. I still am not back on my full line protocol because they don't deem me ready for that. So um, there'll be a big herx. Um, other than that, I'm just working on creating projects for myself that are sort of self-contained, um, that include me acting with a friend and having a director as a friend, but people that understand my, that I'm limited, so it would be a straight play and not a farce that requires a lot of, like, um, physical activity or a musical, you know, and so I think that's gonna actually happen really fast, um, and I'm excited, and I'll talk more about that as soon as we know for sure that we have space and dates, but I think it's going to happen quickly. Um, and so I hope, I hope, I really want a rubber band! <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Again, I'm so repetitive, but, you know, anybody with Lyme brain or fibro fog, you totally get it. Um, email me if you um, want to be part of that group. Let me know how you guys are doing. This is my weird hair. I do not have cancer. Um, something interesting to note. Oh, what was it? Oh, crap. I, I might vlog about it again when I remember. But um, if you are over the age of 30, have not had children, and um, I don't remember what it was, have fibroid. Anyway, I'm in a high, high cancer risk group. Um... And I felt like I learned something really cool, but I don't remember what it was. So anyway, I love you all very much, um, and hopefully we'll all talk really soon, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Be well, stay well, stay happy as you can. Love you bunches. Bye.